So tell me about that first time. Where where were you? What was the setting like? Were you freaked out? Or you nervous? I will just say, um, for legal purposes, this was not in the U.S. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Joking. Um, I was um, with a group of friends um, and in a very relaxed setting. Um, we had um, some DMT and we decided to, um, we were all you know, discussing different problems in our life. And we decided, you know, let's relax and, you know, sort of try to press the reset button and, you know, wake up tomorrow, like refreshed and amazing. Um, and basically I'm lying on the couch um, and, you know, vaporizing some DMT, not really feeling any effects, you know, smoke some more. Um, a lot of the other people in the room had already started to feel it because they had some experience with it and just maybe their, their brains are more, susceptible or, you know, more open to, to the psychedelics. So it took me a little bit of time um, to actually start seeing anything. And I closed my eyes. And the first thing that happened was sort of almost like what I would expect it. You know, if like somebody takes acid or something, there was like a lot of geometric shapes and they were very bright and colorful and like spinning and making like these beautiful, amazing, like sacred geometry patterns. And I'm going, wow, this is the most amazing screensaver I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, I'm like, this doesn't seem meaningful or anything, but this is beautiful. Like, I could never imagine seeing these patterns and shapes and just the way it was going um, ever in my life. And I'm just like, wow, this is just beautiful. Like, I feel like all of my neurons are, like, firing in some kind of beautiful um, pattern that will never happen again. I'm just like, most beautiful sunset ever, you know. Um, but then things started changing. So I started having... It was almost like it became sort of like a little bit of a video game. It's this is very bizarre, but um, you know, there, I saw like little cartoon cats walking around, and like there's ice cream cones. It was weird, and then I'm going, okay, I don't know whether this is gonna start going off the deep end, you know. Um, but um, after that played out a while, um, there was like a distortion of the reality there, like the what I was seeing was no longer like a 3D world. It became like a 4D world, which it was like time and space was bending and then I had the sensation of starting to fall which was really interesting it was should have been terrifying at the moment because like literally it was like I was falling into a black hole that's what it felt like but falling 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 and finally I sort of fell and then I felt like I was floating and it was very white like sparkly type world and literally it it sounds really cheesy, but it sounded sort of like heaven-like where there's like clouds and just like, it felt like I was with like deceased, really amazing, important people. Like, and I was surrounded by like people that were like influential and but cared about me and wanted me to be there and be safe. It was like just a, an oddly emotional feeling. It was very abstract. And then, like, the last thing that I remember from that first trip was, like, it was almost like the Last Supper setting, like, and I'm not even a deeply religious person. I, I was raised Catholic, but literally, it felt like I was sitting at the Last Supper, and it was just, like, this was completely normal. And then I, right after that, then I woke up, and I was just like, did I just go to heaven? I am, this is a really, like, I, this is bizarre. Like, that's not, I started off seeing shapes, and then there were cats, and then I felt like I fell out of space and ended up at the last supper in heaven or something it was just such a weird bizarre experience and they're like my friends were like yeah a lot of us have had similar experiences it's like crossing over and I'm going crossing over where they're like oh to the other side and I'm going um none of this makes sense to me it wasn't scary it was fun um I'm it was very interesting to have a like spiritual experience at the end because again I don't consider myself spiritual and I'm going why why would my brain take me there you know out of all the places but I felt safe I felt comfortable um, I felt accepted and that was just an interesting place at the time because um, I was going through some emotional turmoil and I didn't feel safe or welcome or like I had friends and it just felt at the end like it was okay and I was loved and that was a really nice thing and it made me want to go try it again at some other point wow <laughs> <laughs> no it was insane insane <laughs> and oh, all this happened over like six minutes but it felt like to me it felt like this was like maybe two or three hours and it was just like oh no you were just in there for six minutes it, it blows my mind sometimes thinking about this because the the old me 
would have never been able to rationalize that. It was just like, okay, uh, <laughs> let's just forget that happened. That was weird. Or you're, uh, you were mentally ill or something, you know, that's, that's what you're trained to think. You know, if you're having these experiences, your brain isn't, is, isn't working or it's doing something weird or, you know, for a neuroscientist point of view, you know, well, that's just this, this neuron over firing and releasing too much glutamate. And, you know, you're just, it's all chemical response, but the fact that my body took a chemical and decided to give me a feeling of comfort and spirituality and um, sort of went that that way with it was nice. And it's, mm -hmm. I think our bodies have an innate um, ability to heal themselves. And that's amazing. And not many people know how to unlock that with them in themselves. And it's um, I can't wait for the, the time where I can have another experience with it. And so you say you originally sought out the DMT to help deal with childhood trauma. I, I think we've really lost our ways to purge this trauma in Western society. Uh, we've lost a lot of the ancient traditions and ancient medicines that allowed people to do so. And instead, we're being given medicines that are more of a band-aid on a bullet wound. They don't actually get to the core to treat that trauma. How did DMT help you deal with your childhood trauma? I've even had trips where um, I felt like... I was lifted up and it's very odd to describe this, but it feels like there's the, these tall people that are standing up like almost over the earth and looking down on us and like they're whatever they're gods or whatever that they are. Um, but they have like a big eye. And, um, I've had one trip where I look literally, I felt like I was looking through their eye at the world below. And like, I was a caretaker. I cared about the beings below. And, um, I had this sense that, no matter why I'm here, it's okay. I don't need to know, but to know that I'm here for a reason, that I'm cared about, that there's someone always watching and taking care of my world and my people and my friends and my earth and that it's okay and that we're all connected. Like we're all, like all those beings, we're all like encircled around like the earth and like touching each other and like infusing their energy in the earth. And I just felt that power and that love and that compassion. And I just felt like I needed to bring that love and compassion of everyone into back into the world with me. And that feeling alone has just tremendously changed, you know, what my focus is. Um, my focus is now on healing people, helping people. It really wasn't about that before. It was really about data and finding results and presenting results. It wasn't about the people, you know, even though I said I wanted to help people, it was really about, you know, almost like the office grind, you know, do a research study, find results, publish them, you know, basically job security, you know, do a lot of busy work to make sure you have a job the next day, you know, whether it's helping people, it's not, you know, it's, you're just researching the minutia of something that's, doesn't really matter, you know, at the end of the day, um, I decided to take all of my knowledge and all of my energy and figure out how do I help humanity? How do I move things forward? How do I really going, okay, I don't know whether this is going to start going up the deep end, you know? Um, but, um, after that played out a while, um, there was like a distortion of the reality there. Like the, what I was seeing was no longer like a 3d world. It became like a 4d world, which it was like, time and space was bending and then I had the sensation of starting to fall which was really interesting it was should have been terrifying at the moment because like it literally it was like I was falling into a black hole that's what it felt like but falling 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 and finally I sort of fell and then I felt like I was floating and it was very white like sparkly type world and literally it it sounds really cheesy, but it sounded sort of like heaven-like where there's like clouds and just like, it felt like I was with like deceased, really amazing, important people. Like, and I was surrounded by like people that were like influential and, but cared about me and wanted me to be there and be safe. It was like just a, an oddly emotional feeling. It was very abstract. And then, like, the last thing that I remember from that first trip was, like, it was almost like the Last Supper setting, like, and I'm not even a deeply religious person. I, I was raised Catholic, but literally, it felt like I was sitting at the Last Supper, and it was just, like, this was completely normal. And then I, right after that, then I woke up, and I was just like, did I just go to heaven? I am, this is a really, like, I, this is bizarre. Like, that's not, I started off seeing shapes, and then there were cats, and then I felt like I 
fell out of space and ended up at the Last Supper in heaven or something. It was just such a weird, bizarre experience. And they're like, my friends were like, yeah, a lot of us have had similar experiences. It's like crossing over and I'm going crossing over where? They're like, oh, to the other side. And I'm going, um, none of this makes sense to me. It wasn't scary. It was fun. Um, I'm, it was very interesting to have a like spiritual experience at the end because again I don't consider myself spiritual and I'm going why why would my brain take me there you know out of all the places but I felt safe I felt comfortable um, I felt accepted and that was just an interesting place at the time because um, I was going through some emotional turmoil and I didn't feel safe or welcome or like I had friends and it just felt at the end like it was okay and I was loved and that was a really nice thing and made me want to go try it again at some other point. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was insane. Insane. <laughs> and oh, all this happened over like six minutes, but it felt like to me, it felt like this was like maybe two or three hours and it was just like, oh no, you were just in there for six minutes. It, it blows my mind sometimes thinking about this because the, the old me would have never been able to rationalize that. It was just like, okay, uh, <laughs> let's just forget that happened. Little cartoon cats walking around and like there's ice cream cones. It was weird. And then I'm going, okay, I don't know whether this is going to start going up the deep end, you know. Um, but um, after that played out a while, um, there was like a distortion of the reality there. Like the what I was seeing was no longer like a 3D world. It became like a 4D world, which it was like, time and space was bending and then I had the sensation of starting to fall which was really interesting it was should have been terrifying at the moment because like it literally it was like I was falling into a black hole that's what it felt like but falling 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 and finally I sort of fell and then I felt like I was floating and it was very white like sparkly type world and literally it it sounds really cheesy, but it sounded sort of like heaven-like where there's like clouds and just like, it felt like I was with like deceased, really amazing, important people. Like, and I was surrounded by like people that were like influential and but cared about me and wanted me to be there and be safe. It was like just a, an oddly emotional feeling. It was very abstract. And then, like, the last thing that I remember from that first trip was, like, it was almost like the Last Supper setting, like, and I'm not even a deeply religious person. I, I was raised Catholic, but literally, it felt like I was sitting at the Last Supper, and it was just, like, this was completely normal. And then I, right after that, then I woke up, and I was just like, did I just go to heaven? I am, this is a really, like, I, this is bizarre. Like, that's not, I started off seeing shapes, and then there were cats, and then I felt like I fell out of space and ended up at the Last Supper in heaven or something. It was just such a weird, bizarre experience. And they're like, my friends were like, yeah, a lot of us have had similar experiences. It's like crossing over and I'm going crossing over where? They're like, oh, to the other side. And I'm going, um, none of this makes sense to me. It wasn't scary. It was fun. Um, I'm, it was very interesting to have a like spiritual experience at the end because again I don't consider myself spiritual and I'm going why why would my brain take me there you know out of all the places but I felt safe I felt comfortable um, I felt accepted and that was just an interesting place at the time because um, I was going through some emotional turmoil and I didn't feel safe or welcome or like I had friends and it just felt at the end like it was okay and I was loved and that was a really nice thing and it made me want to go try it again at some other point. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was insane. Insane. <laughs> and oh, all this happened over like six minutes, but it felt like to me, it felt like this was like maybe two or three hours and it was just like, oh no, you were just in there for six minutes. It, it blows my mind sometimes thinking about this because the, the old me would have never been